my channel. So today we're doing a vlog and I want to share a day in my life as a small business owner or as a stationary owner. So since things are more settled, we worked on the warehouse in the beginning of January and then in February we we're working on the mini retail shop which is also um, part of our warehouse which is in the front area. So now that all that's settled, I've been having a more scheduled routine for the past week and I wanted to share a little bit more. Other than that, I am also trying to fix my morning routine um, and do a little bit of exercise and have some more personal goals while be able to work less hours at the office and be able to still work on my own stuff like Life with Holly Lifestyles. But I wanted to share today um, kind of what's been happening in the past week for Point Hun and kind of share with you um, along my day. If you haven't been to my channel yet, welcome. My name is Holly from Life with Holly Lifestyles. I'm so excited to share with you my life as an entrepreneur and my tips and tricks for business. So today's vlog will focus on Point Hun. So I'm still working on my morning routine. It's changed a little bit again since January. So I will update you that when that happens. And usually when I come home, I try to come home a little earlier. Um, now the last week or so um, to work on Life with Holly Lifestyles but I'm still slowly getting into it so today would just be all about Point Hun and what I do in a day so without further ado let's get in we're going to go drive to work um, it's been a lot busier lately because I think some companies are bringing their employees back so there is traffic I used to take around 25 to 30 minutes to get to work and now it's gonna be like around 40 45 depending um, how busy it is and what time I go to work but let's take you with me So I made it to work and today's traffic was extra crazy. I don't know what was going on. It was like supposedly like a 30 to 40 minute delay, but luckily whatever was happening, it was cleared. So um, I still came in like 50 minutes to get here. So that is still a little intense, but um, hopefully that doesn't happen every day. Today was a definitely an, an exception for that. Um, but I just want to update that now that I got my own car, it's so much easier for me to leave. Um, I've been leaving a lot earlier lately, um, between three to five, depending on the day. Um, I'm gonna say around four because that's like kind of like the average and that really helps me like I can actually go shopping a little bit if I wanted to um, so I can focus my weekends on doing other things because usually I do shoppings during the weekend but now I don't have to I can stay at home during the weekend because Mr. Poi hubby doesn't really like going out that often um he does like to stay home because it is um, cause we're always at work. So being at home in the weekend is good. So that's really nice to do. I can still do a little bit of shopping. I can go home earlier to work on life with Holly lifestyles, which I'm still, um, working on that routine. So maybe in a future vlog, I'll share more when I figured out that routine. Um, but yeah, so we're at the office and we're going to head in and I'm going to share more about the, my day and how I get started. Keeps backing my way. Can't feel farther away. Wait on a moment to say that I want you. You know that I want you. Oh, so we're inside. This is the mini retail shop. I believe I did do a tour on this, um, but we have cards up there, um, mix of point on stuff and stuff like that. And then. Here's just a little sneak peek. And then um, Ross works over there, which is our social media coordinator. She also does a little bit of production work, last hour of work, so get some stuff ready to go. So usually I come a little earlier to kind of settle in and um, put away the stuff. And yeah, so we're gonna go into my office here, which is around the corner. Um, and I finally set up my frames that I had on the floor for the longest time. My desk is still um, slightly getting there. I'm still waiting to get some shelves, Billy shelves from Ikea, so I would be able 
to um, put stuff away and then it'll be a lot cleaner but that's where it's at right now super cute and what's a vlog without coffee so I'm gonna share a new find that I have somewhere in the pantry era and you're literally in a um, cupboard but I wanted to share something I've been using so I saw on TikTok people talk about the Chobani oat um, milk and I've never been a fan of oat milk because it just doesn't feel the same. I grew up drinking milk like every night. So when oat milk came out, I wasn't really a big fan. It just didn't taste the same. Um, but recently I found this one here. This is the Chobani oat milk in extra creamy. Um, I haven't tried the normal one yet, but this one extra creamy would definitely remind me of milk. So I decided to pick this up and it does taste like milk. I don't even notice it, um, especially when I add the creamer, which is also another find, also from TikTok, is the Chobani um, Coffee Creamer and Sweet Cream. This one, I believe, is Rio Dairy, while wow, this one is just the oat milk. So normally, I just grab my cup. So I have a cup here from Ikea. Um, I grab some ice, and then I just fill it with my Nespresso coffee, and then I'll add the um, Chobani oat milk and sweet cream inside. So we got it ready and I'm gonna add the oat milk and it looks super pretty when you pour it in. And then I just add a splash of the creamer here, which there's sweet cream and vanilla, but I prefer the sweet cream. And then you mix it up and that's pretty much it. I don't have straw here, so I'm just gonna mix it up. And that is the coffee. Super easy, super simple, and it tastes really, really good. So I'm in my office and I have my coffee here and I'm gonna take a sip. So usually the mornings are kind of chaotic. I have admin tasks to do, um, stuff that I didn't do yesterday or just like really, really random things. It includes emails from my honey email. Um, sometimes I work on the point honey emails for customer service and then I do a little bit of social media stuff. So I kind of, um, go through social media see the trends see what's happening in the world um and kind of just go from there and then usually i upload um i've been starting to do more ig reels for our social media so that you cannot schedule usually i use a scheduling app to schedule poses but since um i've been doing more ig reels there is no scheduling so probably have to just do it as I go every single day. So that's what I've been doing. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do for the next um, 30 minutes to an hour. And there's some random things that's gonna pop up that I need to do, such as like um, finish messaging vendors, doing things that we're ordering that is either new or restocked. So I'm just gonna do that and we're gonna see how that goes. Okay, so I am done my admin tasks. Right now I'm gonna go work on some designs. So if you haven't been around for a while, we did release some new inserts. We have our current ones on sale. So if you're interested, make sure to go check it out. I'll link some links down below for you guys to check. Um, so we released some new inserts. There's 11 in total and we're going to put them on different sizes. We did release um, one size, I believe last week, um, is the half letter disc bound. So we have 11 of these. So I'll share a little bit um, um, just after this, but I just want to explain a little bit more. Um, it's basically just a revamped with our new um, design, new logo and stuff. Um, if you haven't noticed, we did do a little brand refresh. Um, I didn't really announce it or anything because um, it wasn't like a really big deal, but we're slowly um, taking items out um, that are the old design and then having some new stuff. So that's super exciting. There is a lot of stuff that is on sale since um, we moved here. So uh, make sure to check out the sales section if you're interested. So I'm currently working on the other 
other sizes. I just have to reformat them. Um, I did A5, I did Personal. I'm working on Pocket, so I'll probably finish that today. Um, we're also having a mini Happy Planner and Classic Happy Planner, which is super exciting. Um, but we're gonna slowly add those in um, as the weeks go by because I didn't. I still need to get them ready and have to find a space for them. Um, I will share a little bit in the warehouse later um, any up our updates with our production area and um, do some orders together. So yeah. So I have a few designs I want to share. We have our inbox. So they're pretty similar to the current ones. Um, but some of them, if they work really, really well and I still love them, I basically it's just mainly the font change. And um, I pushed everything up a little bit so there's more space to write. And there's some that obviously I've used for a while now and I wanted to change up some of the designs. So I'll share those ones with you guys. So for example, we have our gold bundles one. Um, these pages are pretty much the same but for the monthly goals pages I changed it up a little bit before it was just month week and daily tasks but now I wanted to kind of break down the weekly goals so I have them in week one two three and four and five so you can um, so it's a lot easier to kind of see what you need to focus on each week and then I still have monthly and daily on the side um, so this is based on your goals what you need to focus on so that's one of the things that I did um, other changes I did is um, we had a bunch of weekly for the half letter and I'm going to bring it for all sizes um, so I kind of um, chose the ones that I really liked and think would work really well and I made a week on one page and a week on two page so this will be the week on two page it looks like that you have sections to write and some notes on the side so that is the week on two pages and then we have the week on one which is pretty similar um, um, you have that section again with to-do lists but here is what my favorite is if you have things you want to track such as meal planning you can do that here because there's seven lines here um, you can track um, workouts and all that stuff so many things you can do here and then the notes section here you can also track things if you want to um, you have a packing list whatever you like and then you have some section for daily reminders to check off such as like drinking water and like that so there's like stuff like this that's really slimmer to the old one but then I changed it up a little bit to make it a little better so here's a little sample of how I would use this spread um, and then a lot of the rest are pretty much the same it's just um, different um, dailies changed it a little bit um, so it's like a mix of a revamp and um, pretty much just rebranding it for us so there that's that those are the inserts and yeah I'm just gonna start working on the pocket ones Reaching for a North Star Waiting just to wake up From this nightmare Where you could be right back in my arms Dancing to the limbo Stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint A thousand different pictures of what is wrong But if we turn the clocks back Couple dials, we should throw them out because time okay so it is now around 1 30 and i did a lot of work um i was a little on and off with random things i needed to do i was focusing on um saving the files for the inserts because i did um fix them and then now I have to save them properly um, so that I can get them printed on Monday so there's that and now I'm in the production area of the warehouse I'm gonna share what I've done and kind of tell you also what the plan is there's also a lot of mess around here so I'm gonna try to avoid that um, but yeah so let's get in so the area is a little different now um we were waiting for legs to come in stock on ikea like the ones down there they finally came back in stock so one weekend we decided that we were just going to set everything up i haven't really figured out exactly what i'm planning to do yet but we now have i believe four new tables um and we're gonna have um and i moved a bunch of stuff so for example this shelf here used to have just random production stuff that needed to be done 
I have now cleared it and it'll be for a secret project that I can't share with you too much yet um, but I'll definitely have a secret vlog about that and we'll release it when we launch so that area is gonna be here along with this so this is the secret project area and then we have another area here which is a sticker machine so <laughs> these if you've seen these before I probably shared them back when we were still at home I have never <laughs> used them yet so I got to figure that out but this will be the sticker station area I'm also debating if I want to move my printer out here because it would be um, right now it's in my office but it would be a lot better out here when you're printing stuff and um, I'll just come grab things because I don't print that often um, just to like test out inserts and stuff so maybe I'll move that out still deciding I have my old computer here before I change into the MacBook M1 um, the 14 inch ones this is my old one that I've had since I believe 2018 so it still works really well um, it just has to be charged most of the time because something wrong with the battery that I need to fix. Um, I have a stand here so whoever's working here can um, have access to all the files and then this is all the stuff that needs to be plugged. There's a lot of things that need to be plugged um, but this is where we're at now. I still need to plug those so that's that. We have this section here which is um, Ross, our social media coordinator, she actually um, unboxed these. I still need to check them to make sure they're quality controlled. And then we have um, all the dust bags here. We have the new inserts that I need to find space for. So I did use um, two of the racks for storage. So now I need to start clearing those up and adding it back in here. So there's that. Um, so this would normally be clear and um, this would be more like a production desk. So if there's things that need to be packed or stuff like that, it can be done here. Right now, Ross is doing it on her desk because um, she has to look after the store anyways. But when we have more things to do, I can look over the store and she can do that stuff or something while I'm working. So that's still deciding. And then here I have a cutter there, some extra stuff that needs to be packed. I have this cute, um, dry eraser board. I believe this was from Target um, that I use for production and stuff like that. So that's where we're at. So usually at the last hour or two before I head out, I usually start picking orders so that um, when Mr. Poi, my hubby, shows up, he can um, pack orders. Sometimes he's already here um, working from the office or sometimes he's working in his actual job. Um, totally depends on the day. Um, so usually I just pick orders, get them prepped, and then put them on a stand over here. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then normally I leave around three to four, depending on the day. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much the end of today's vlog. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit more what I do in a day. This is a normal routine. Um, nothing crazy happening or anything that is making it fabulous but i just wanted to share more of like a real um day in my life and then i can share other ones in the future where i'm actually doing other things because obviously every week's a little different and yes yeah, so i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and comment down below any other videos you would like to see make sure to subscribe to see more videos of my little planner shop and then hopefully my next vlog i can share more life with holly lifestyles and even do maybe a week in my vlog uh, a week in my is it a week in my vlog a week in my day a week a week as an entrepreneur so yeah so have a wonderful day and i'll see you in my next video bye